what our country needs now more than ever is the spirit of aloha. This, is elect this election, seriously, is just too important for a party to have the same kinds of divisions that we saw back in 2016. We just cannot do that again. You show that we are united in our conviction that hope defeats fear. That courage overcomes cynicism. <laughs> that we will always be a stronger party and a stronger nation. When we unite around our shared values. Let's get something straight. Wall Street did not build America. Investment bankers did not build America. Hard working middle class people built America. Unions built the middle class. All over this country, workers are sick and tired of earning starvation wages. You can't make it on nine bucks an hour or 11 bucks an hour or 12 bucks an hour. We are gonna raise the federal minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. Hello and thank you for joining us on this Met Media Super Tuesday report. I'm Brenda Menchev. And I'm Nancy Escobar. Well, Brendan, there has actually been some states that have already been called. Um, Alabama, Joe Biden took Alabama. Uh, Joe Biden has also taken North Carolina at this hour and Virginia. Um, on the other hand, Bernie Sanders takes Vermont and uh, Michael Bloomberg takes American Samoa. And that is all the races we have at this hour uh, for the 6.30 update. Um, we'll let you know if anything else kind of comes in while we're on the air here. Um, but kind of initially, Joe Biden doing well in some of these uh, southern states, um, not necessarily a surprise. Uh, I think this is more expected uh, that Biden would do well than someone like Bernie Sanders. I just think the experience that he has, you know, being um, vice president for so long, he kind of knows how the idea and his campaign has actually been doing really good. So I think that's where that comes from. Yeah, the endorsement certainly would have helped with that, um, that he's picked up from um, you know, Klobuchar and Buttigieg over the past few days. Um, a little bit surprising, um, I think Virginia is, has gone towards Joe Biden as much as it has. Uh, it's honestly pretty solidly blue. Uh, right now he's got f over 50% of the vote. Um, Senator Bernie Sanders only has 23% of the vote, uh, the vote, and Elizabeth Warren 10% of the vote. Michael Bloomberg spent $18 million in Virginia, and he has less than 10% of the vote right now as it stands. So very surprising statistics and we'll we'll keep you guys updated as more things come up. Um, I was looking here, yeah, it's surprising that Biden has been taking a lot of these. I don't think that was predicted at all, so it's pretty interesting. Ver, uh, obviously, no surprise here, Vermont has gone to Bernie Sanders with uh, over 50% of the vote. Joe Biden's picked up 22% of that vote so far, and Elizabeth Warren is in third with 12%. Uh, that's still, we only have 25% reporting from Vermont. Uh, so that number could go up for Bernie Sanders, as we might expect it to. Um, Massachusetts, at this hour, is still up for grabs, and it's 91 delegates. Um, but as it stands, with 1% of the vote coming in, uh, Joe Biden has 34% of the vote, and Bernie Sanders, 25. Elizabeth Warren, she is a senator for that state, 22% of the vote in Massachusetts. Uh, so it's interesting, some of these races, uh, as they kind of come in, is the home candidate gonna do well there or not I right mean, in, in their Bernie state. proved it he did you know he took Vermont so we'll have to wait and see what the other candidates do and it'll be it, one other thing we're kind of looking for tonight too is is Bernie Sanders going to continue his momentum is he going to continue holding the lead in delegates or is Joe Biden with all of these endorsements that he's gotten and suddenly it's there's no moderate yeah. candidate fighting him other than Michael Bloomberg who's really going to come out of here with the big win in the majority of delegates Things are looking pretty rigid, so I'm excited to see what numbers come up, but we still have a while to go, so you know. Yeah, and it's only, as of this filming, uh, 6.20 here in Denver. Uh, polls close here in Colorado at 7. Um, we will do a Facebook Live, so you see us again before our next report. Um, but 
it'll be interesting. Right now, it's still expected that Bernie Sanders is going to win Colorado and win California. California, the um, the state with the most delegates up for grabs today, um, with 415. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. It's, Democratic primaries are not winner-take-all um, contests, unlike the Republican primaries. So even if a candidate wins a state, they don't take all of the delegates. They don't take all of them. Yep, and that's kind of one of the things that we're looking for tonight. I can't wait to see until all the polls close. I think we'll get more updated information, so it's really exciting. And just if you live in Denver, there's still 40 minutes for you to go and get your vote in, so please make sure and do so. Um, I was just downstairs in the Tivoli Turn Hall, and there's a lot of people there still waiting. Sorry, the Multicultural Lounge, still waiting to get their vote in, so it's never too late. And if you are in line at 7 o'clock, you will not be turned away. You will get to cast your vote. Uh, so if the line is long and you're thinking you're not going to make it in before <laughs> 7, uh, you will get to vote. So. And that's at any public place that's holding it. I know uh, the Denver Public Library across from us is also doing it, so make sure to go out and vote, guys, because these are really up for grabs, and there's a lot of you know uncertainty. We don't know who's going to take what, so make sure you go out and make your vote count. And I've also heard from some of the Metropolitan reporters that we have out and about, um, somebody at Front Range Community College in Westminster, Colorado. Um, it was their first time voting. Um, so we've got a lot of first time voters here. I was, I was been reading some demographics and this election, so in November, uh, the generation after millennials, the post-millennial generation is actually going to make up 10% uh, of the electorate. Uh, that's up from 4% in 2018. Wow, that's so, a lot. I'm glad the young people are voting and representing and making their vote count, so that's really, really good. And I think that's what a lot of these candidates are pulling for. I think mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders, all of a lot of his campaign is like leaned towards the younger generation, so I think that's where that He's getting that momentum from as well. Yeah, there's definitely no doubt that uh, candidates like Bernie Sanders and Senator Elizabeth Warren are definitely trying to get that younger uh, younger vote from a, a lot of states in the country, whereas Joe Biden is maybe not, not really so expecting much, so yeah. much of that younger vote, but definitely the African-American vote is polling for Joe Biden at this point, as we saw in South Carolina. And some judging by some states, of the southern states yeah. that have already come in, it looks like he's probably going to get a significant yeah. chunk there tonight as well. So it'll be interesting. Um, I think that's all we're gonna we have for you right now. Uh, we'll be back uh, at seven o'clock with a Facebook Live, uh, letting you know the polls are closed here in Colorado, and we'll let you know if we have any race updates at that point. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. We'll see you in a bit.